Mr. President, yet we in Egypt are for peace. We are for the full implementation of all United Nations resolutions on the Middle East to achieve this objective and in pursuance of our determination to support the United Nations efforts, we have cooperated with the UN and its General, Secretary General. We have extended unreserved cooperation to his special representative in order to fa further facilitate the realization of a just peace. The President of Egypt proposed on February 4, 1971, an initiative providing for the evacuation of Israeli occupation in two stages. The President declared that upon Israel's withdrawal to the lines of the first stage, Egypt would be willing to accept a ceasefire for a specific period during which the Secretary General's special representative would prepare a timetable for the implementation of all the provisions of the Security Council resolution. During this stage, Egypt would start clearing the Suez Canal with the view of opening it to international navigation. Egyptian forces would cross the canal to assume their national responsibilities on the Eastern Bank and protect the canal and the Egyptian cities along its side. The second stage could then follow. Israeli occupation forces would evacuate the territories it occupied after June 5, 1967. And all the other provisions of the Security Council resolution would be fully carried out in conformity with the aforementioned timetable. The evacuation of Egypt of Egyptian territory can only mean the withdrawal of Israeli forces of occupation to the Egyptian internationally recognized borders with Palestine under the British mandate.